It's just trained and it just chopped me up, dude, and I didn't know what to do. What's up, guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, we are training with one of the most extraordinary, just absolute savages in the world, Zion Clark. Let's go, beast! Let's do it. Let's go. Yo, Zion, give a quick little elevator where you're from, who you are, and what you do. Uh, my name is Zion Clark. I'm from Maslin, Ohio. Uh, I'm a top level wrestler. You know, I wrestled all through. Uh, youth all the way up through college, came an uh, All-American. I'm also a professional track and field athlete. I'm one of the fastest 100 meter sprinters in the world. I'm Guinness a world, world record holder. I'm the world's fastest man on two hands. And soon I'm gonna be a force to be reckoned with in the cage because y'all better watch out because I'm serious about this. Let's shit. go. If you don't know, now you know. Zion wasn't born with legs, but there's absolutely nothing that holds this guy back. No legs, big soul. Let's no go. Excuses. First things first, no legs. What happened? Uh, you know, there's this train and it just chopped me up, dude, and I didn't know Are what to do. Oh, oh, my legs! No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but that's uh, so, how. So, uh, that's not uh, funny, but. <laughs> uh, no, I was born with uh, cholera regression syndrome. And you know, it's due to my birth mother being on every party drug possible and she just didn't take care of herself, plus she was an alcoholic on top of that. And so then I'm a product of that and, uh, you know, I'm jail baby, crack baby, whatever you want to call it. I put right into the system and then just spent the first 17 years of my life in the foster care system, but I found wrestling, I found martial arts what, as what, my scapegoat, my get getaway. What attracts you to martial arts? What attracts you to wrestling? What attracts you to being physically fit? Being physically fit, I, I could care less about, if I'm gonna be honest. Got it. That just comes with me walking on my hands, that comes with the sport. The fact that I love about what I do is with wrestling, it's everybody's on equal terms. Only it all depends on you whether you win or lose. Same thing with fighting, same thing with grappling. It all depends on whether you, it only depends on you whether you win or lose. So if, you, if you're prepared and you go, out, you go out there and you get everything you got and you win, Great. If you go out there and you still get everything you had and you lose, you try hard, but there's still things you can work on. It's still it's your fault, uh, regardless. You know that's why I live by no excuses because you can only account on your only depend on yourself. 
you can only trust yourself to win or trust yourself to learn from your losses. Yeah. And that's what I liked about it. And plus when you step out there, say we step out on the mat and you shake my hand, we're looking at each other as equals, whether I have legs or not. And that's what I like about it, is there's mutual respect to it that I just crave and that I just love. Have you ever seen, one, anyone this incredible? Two, his style of wrestling and, and punching and, and, and just moving, like what, how does it differentiate? I think it's crazy because in MMA and wrestling, a lot of stuff is you need leverage and your hips to, to generate a lot of the power. So, you know, he's finding a way to, to generate that power with what he has and, and he's doing it and it's, it's actually really cool, really cool. So, you know, he's, he's, finding, he's gonna be finding his own style and his own way. And uh, I think that's the fun part, right? Oh, it's, the, that, it's so much fun. What about from like a nutrition standpoint? Uh, nutrition, you know, I try to put everything healthy in my body. I don't really drink pop or eat candy or, you know, any of that crap. Uh, I try to keep it healthy. Um, I have people guiding me in the right direction to different nu nutrition facts. Like I have this doctor, her name is Dr. Randall. She's actually like this huge vegan. Shout out Dr. Randall, you're, you're awesome. She's really helped me out with a lot of self body care over the last couple years on keeping like the nutrition up and different supplements, different like, um, like potassium pills and stuff to make sure I can get the maximum potential out of my body, still like staying legal, still staying healthy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And are you, are you deficient time. in any, any vitamins? Or potassium any? sometimes, potassium. I cramp up really bad. So sometimes. you gotta eat a lot of bananas? A lot of bananas or I take uh, magnesium pills. Magnesium pills, mm -hmm. don't those make you kind of tired? Not me. No? No. I take just, magnesium to go to sleep. <laughs> no, it just uh, loosen, it loosens up my arms, so especially when I uh, go to stretch, I can get the uh, best elasticity out of my arms, especially you, when I'm wrestling. Do you see anything, like, because this is what comes immediate when we just got through a workout, when I'm just, when you're at my house and we're just hanging out, like, immediate, I'm like, damn, I'm thinking, can Z do this? Is it going to limit him? Do you go into things like, damn, I probably can't do that? Or do you look at the world like, limitless, I can do whatever I want? I look at it kind of in the middle. Uh, limitless as in, I'm gonna try anything that anybody tells me I can't do, whether they think I can or I can't. Uh, I'm just gonna try shit, just cause that's how I am, and that's who I am. I see a challenge and I go after it. Another thing is, if I try something over and over again and I come to a solid conclusion that I'm not able to do whatever it is, and I just accept it and I move on and do the things I can. You know, to me, I'm gonna be happy regardless. I'm gonna make things work and things don't work, I find a way and if that way doesn't work, I just move on. Who are some of the coolest people you've met? Cause I feel like you're social, your things you're doing, you're an author now, you're a Guinness Book World Record holder. Uh, you have a Netflix people. documentary out. Like coolest, coolest people you've met so far. Oh dude, there's so many people. Uh, Give me three. Anderson Silva. Anderson Silva, Savage. Yeah. I heard a lot about him. <laughs> What, what, what about Anderson so uh, He is just a really cool cool dude down to earth. Uh, you know, aside from being like one of the most savage fighters of all time, he's actually a really nice guy. You That's know, good. and just very family oriented. And uh, he opened up, he opened, has his own gym out in Los Angeles, Spider Kick, and he just helps these new up and coming fighters really like. His uh, son too. His son's yeah, son's Khalil. Yeah, yeah, Khalil's actually a good friend of mine. He's a beast. Uh, but they're like, he really has opened up his world and taken his knowledge and passing it down to the generations. And I had the pleasure of working with him and grappling with him. I didn't get to strike with him. I'm glad I didn't do that at the, at the time because, you know, he might have put me out. But, uh, <laughs> you know, I was, I felt very honored to go in there and grapple with one of the best grapplers on the planet. Epic. And, you know, I was actually... Keeping about, up a little bit? Yeah, I was able to keep up a bit and put some work in. And I feel like in that, I was able to act like, like solidify earning his respect. Love that. And now we have a mutual respect for each other. You, uh, I feel like in the last, you know, a couple of years, you know, you're obviously getting approached by a lot of people to link up, to collaborate, mm -hmm. sponsors reaching out. Yeah. How do you pick and choose? I ask the questions that nobody else wants to ask. Okay. And my thing is, I want, I'm the type of person that before I even agree to anything, I want to see some results. I want to see progress of any sort. Uh, because I have worked with people and companies in the past, and this is the learning curve right here. So when I've worked with different companies, whether it was um, a supplement company, whether it was a meal prep company or something like that, 
where how they ex how they explain things and how they actually did things were very two different things. Yeah. Now with companies that I really like, like Gymshark and uh, just all these other companies that I like to work with. Nah. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, no, dude, no, like, no, like seriously though, like Gym <laughs> Gymshark is probably one of my favorite companies given that people like you and a lot of the people that I've got to connect with are genuine. And you guys have a genuine vision on what you want to do and you actually treat your uh, people well, you treat uh, your talent well, you treat your your other and coworkers and employees well. And that's what I kind of want. It's almost like a family structure to me, even though it's a business. Yeah. And that's the type of companies I like to work with. So when it comes to companies, that's how I distinguish who I want to work with. And don't get me wrong, some companies, they're cool and all, but if I don't even like the product, there's a very slim chance that I'll even go through it. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I feel motivated and encouraged by what you do with what you're limited to. Uh, I'm sure there's so many people around the world that are inspired by you. Mm -hmm. um, does that drive you? Yeah. Uh, I've been getting asked that question a lot. And Damn, I thought that was a new question. No, it's like it's like a newer, but it's it's popping up more. But uh, no, um, that's my, that's my answer. No, uh, and it's not like no in a bad way. No, as in I'm not in. I, I, my my mission isn't to go out and inspire people that's not when i started wrestling that wasn't my goal that i had and i've had the same goal with wrestling and being a martial artist from day one before anybody even knew i existed you know my goal is to be the top dog my goal is to be one of the most rounded martial artists on the planet i want to be known as a master i want to be known All as right. a goat and yeah in the journey people are getting inspired and i'm glad that they are yeah. and i'm glad that i can turn someone's life around and make them go up and chase their dreams i'm glad that i can really like get people to be their best selves but at the end of the day i'm still trying to be my best self yeah. Yeah. i'm trying to chase my dreams yeah. so if you want to tag along for the ride and feel motivated go for it i'm with it but at the same time i got i got stuff to do i got business to take care of i always say like athletes are selfish and coaches are selfless right mm -hmm. so you say like Anderson Silva is like one of the best people you know because now he's he's still competing but now he's also probably coaching more like his mm -hmm. kids so now he's giving more of himself where when you're focused on your primary goals you're focused on your primary goal yeah and I think you're gonna look back at your journey and you're gonna see everything you've accomplished but you're gonna see so many people you've impacted and made a change on I think that's gonna be like your footprint so yeah. it's awesome, man. You Keep inspiring. Yeah, your hamper. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so, uh, how tall are you? I'm like three foot two inches. Three foot two inches. Yeah. What's your wingspan? Like six foot three inches. Damn. Six five. Six, six five. Yeah. So, what was somewhere, Jordan? Somewhere. Do you have a tape measure here? Somewhere. What was Jordan? Do you remember Jordan? That poster. Just think about it. This is like. Do you have a tape measure? This mat's six foot. You definitely have a tape measure. This mat's six foot something. Yeah. Alright, so he goes two, to there. Four, two, four, six. Like I'm touching the wall. Yeah, that's more than Alright, let me see mine. Nope. Oh, man. Yeah, no, yeah, mine. He came out to like here. He came out. <laughs> Damn. You have like four inches on me. Yeah. Damn. So if you did have. If I'd you had legs, that's all it is. NBA. He'd NBA. you would be like 6'5. Ex pro uh, basketball player right here. How tall are you? Like 6'1, six, 6'2. Six, but I got pretty long arms. Oh yeah, about the same. You're about yeah, the you're same. about the same. Wow. I think you might have the same arm strength as I do. The yeah, that's like almost. And how tall are you? Like six one, six one, six two. Something like that, dude. I have a biological little brother. He's only fifteen years old, and he's six two. Oh really? Fifteen years old. Dang. Yeah. What do you have coming up? So you got end of this year. End of this year, I was, uh, as I was saying, I was talking about the track and field. Um, getting ready to, for the Pan American Championships, the World Championships. You know, I'm about to be king of the world. I'm telling you. Uh, I've been one of the top four, top two fastest 100 meter sprinters since I graduated high school. Like right out the gate, I was been one of the fastest guys in, in the U.S. And uh, I'm just ready to make, put some damage in, man. You know, I'm not a rookie anymore in this sport, and I'm turning into a vet. And now it's my time to shine. So you're you know? you're trying. You're doing another world record? You're going for Oh, that? no, no, no. I'm a professional track and field athlete. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I've, re I've actually uh, competed uh, for Team USA one time. Uh, I was right after, the year after I graduated high school, I was at the world, uh, tri the world Trials for London, and I got second place. So I made the B team, sent us to Canada. So our B team beat Canada's A team uh, in Canada on the 4th of July. 
and it was it was pretty epic. Well, you're going for the and, world um, record rope climb. Too. Yep, then I'm going for the world record rope climb, and I'm gonna kill that. Uh, I'm gonna retry to do my uh, first Guinness World Record for the fastest 20 meter sprint, uh, just because um, I'm moving like four miles per hour faster right now, and um, yeah. so why not? And then um, I'm trying to think. What else? Just I got some. Time. I got what some. What about from a business perspective? Business perspective, that's the fun stuff. Yeah, that's the fun stuff. So, I mean, don't get me wrong, athletics is the fun stuff, so I do first. But for the business, you know, I'm getting ready to release my second book here um, in the next probably five months or so. I don't have a title name for it just yet, um, but the actual book is done. I'm very, very, very excited. Uh, what what's else? A, what's a book about? It's gonna be like um, a short memoir type deal. So I'm releasing three books. The first book that's already out, Zion Unmatched, was more for like kids and a younger audience to understand. The second one's gonna be like more for like high school, young adults, so like high school, early level college type deal. And then the final one, which will be more towards in the next two years or so after I would hope, I'm trying to time it. So after I already make like the US Olympic team, or, or I make it into the cage, or I make it make some big news on the mat, like something yeah. something big. I want to just time it for that moment of success. Uh, so when I drop that third book, people, I really want to be able to explain the journey from beginning to that moment. Yeah. You know what I mean? I love it. I do have this uh, goal to be the first per Olympian and par uh, Paralympian. And not that that hasn't been done before, but it hasn't been done in track and field and wrestling with the two sports combined. Got it. You will never see a wrestler running track and field at the Olympic Games. Not happening. Except for me. Where can they find you? Instagram, Big Z. Well, Big underscore Z underscore 2020. It's a really stupid name, so just type in Big Z or type in my name, you'll find me regardless. TikTok, Big Z97. Um, you just look me up, find me anywhere. Uh, if you go to my Instagram and you go to my link tree uh, link in my bio, you can find the link to my merchandise store. You can find a link to my books. You can where to buy that. If you want to see where I'm going to be speaking at next, you know, it's it's all there. So you do a lot of more motivational speaking? I love motivational speaking, man. I'm, I'm motivated right now. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, dude, I love my My thing about Come speaking... <laughs> Come run through this wall. <laughs> Some motivational speakers, they don't have that it factor. And the it factor isn't like, yeah, I, have, I don't have legs. It's, I don't have legs, whatever, but am I able to actually wow a crowd with what I have to say? You know what I mean? And then going out there and getting people, interacting with people and going out there and controlling a crowd and getting people hyped, asking questions, getting people really invested in what you're saying. That's what I like about speaking and that's why I'm a motivational speaker. I appreciate you guys watching. Throw it a like, throw it a comment, follow Zion. We got Richie, we're here in Jersey City. We got Craig, who manages Zion, is just an epic human. Guys, comment below what you guys want to see next. Like the video. Share it till next time. If you want to, wait, 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 wait. Oh, if you want to see me spar with Devin, hit the like button as many times as you can. Oh. Come on, twist it, twist it.